What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Diary Room Show with your boy, Kara Wa. Yes, this is another day, and I'm here to dissect what happened in our entertainment industry. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Don't go anywhere. Yes, a lot of things have been happening in our entertainment industry. Yes, though in a very slow pace, really, really slow pace. First on the line, or first, first, very first on our list. Is of course I already wish rather not news to you that most of our Cameroonian artists are just really I don't know what is going on, but we need to call on the gods of inspiration to come and pour some inspiration on some of these are Cameroonian artists. What's happening to everybody? Nobody is ready to put out the song. It's like everybody has gone down to do some other extra business that we don't know about, or rather, it's the music not paying anymore. They just released the list of top 30 African musicians and no Cameroonian has made it to the list, yet nobody is putting out music. What is going on? I mean, am I asking this question just for myself though? What is really going on? That's really like the, the craziest stuff. Nobody's putting out music and nobody's saying anything about it. Yeah, but of course, aside this, there's one person that has put out music this year that is actually getting people on edge like and that's magasco magasco put out a song title give and he has put out a challenge asking other artists to really you know bounce on it so that he can find out who is going to be on the remix for him and of course many artists that are bouncing on this challenge is actually really really surprising why am i saying surprising because of course Cameroonian artists are fond of being in that egocentric egoistic perspective where they say when another artist put out a challenge they can't jump on but we've seen quite a good number of artists jump on this challenge people like uh, mike monster of course cleo gray and, and many other artists who jump on this challenge of course we don't know what the intentions are whether magasco is going to go for an upcoming artist or an artist that is already in the limelight but one thing that is even more important is the fact that these artists are jumping on this challenge yes i mean when i say the artists are not putting out songs no disrespect to those who are putting out their art because we actually really recognize people that are putting out their music we're only saying that the music is not coming in the pace in which it's always because of course am i the only one that is noticing the drought am i yeah on to the next thing yeah music is not being put out but yeah somebody has actually really blown us away this week and that is our queen daphne yes daphne has not put out music in a long time but her instagram is not slowing down daphne recently hit 3 million followers on instagram recently and now stands as the most followed female entertainer in cameroon no is she the most followed female entertainer She's actually the most followed female Cameroonian on Instagram so far. 3 million followers, you're gonna say that's no news. That's a big deal. That's a big milestone and congratulations to her and her team for doing an amazing job. She's our queen and we keep respecting the Stephens music. Mmm, prodigy. You know how it is. Yes, on to the next thing. Talking about people who have been putting out merchandise, just like I stated before, our Cameroonian artists are not really putting out music, but I'm feeling like they're falling back to doing some business or whatever. We already know that there are a lot of street wears happening right now. One of them is Pascal, of course named pascal picking for sons merchandise that broke waves in 2020 when he really left the studio i wasn't really doing that anymore meeting his fans and giving picking for son or his merchandise title of pascal yeah which did really well before pascal there were already streetwears like french kind and many other streetwears that have been existing in Cameroon. one of the record levels have actually really announced new stuff on their merchandise not that it wasn't existing but of course just an addition yes and that is the oh, Almighty New Bell Music, headed by their head honcho Joby Lemon. They recently announced new sneakers for their fans. Really, really beautiful shoes, man. Mm, I can't wait to see how this is going to be a better announced. New Bell has been producing merchandise but not really giving out to their fans, except for the Mboko God t shirt that was all over the place. New Bell Music merchandise never really got to individuals like that. It was mostly for people in their circle. Let's see if this new brand of sneakers is going to be for everyone and available to every fan. People are excited. Talking about Joville Mons, he also made a tweet last week praising MI and his chairman album and narrating how much it was such a pleasure buying it and driving around Legos and just vibing to it and stuff. Internet didn't take it lightly. You know how it is. Many people always come out here like, yo, when did Jovi ever buy a Cameroonian artist song and just go tweet about it and hype about it? And I'm like, what? Come on, guys. This wasn't even about a Cameroonian. This is about MI. Can we just let the vocal god just 
Guys, chill, man. Chill. What's all the fight for? What's all the fight for? And yeah, talking about all of the things that happened this week, one of the people that really caught our attention, a female again, is Meshi. You've probably not been hearing about Meshi a lot. That's because she's been behind the scenes trying to cook us an album. Yeah, she finally released an album. Of course, it's been pressure, or what should I call it? It's been a whole fight on social media ever since her album dropped. She's been attacking people and saying, guys, you have no right to say anything about my album if you didn't listen to it. And she says stuff like she invited people People for the album launch and people didn't even show up you know so people and bloggers they have nothing to say they don't they shouldn't say anything about the album. i was like what come on chill 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 come on there's really no bad publicity if people are saying rubbish about your album it's probably because they went man they want you to work on it and be better right or am i wrong guys i don't know how can you put out an album and you don't want people to be opinionated about it and you're comparing yourself to jesus you said jesus wasn't even accepted in his place so you're jesus now because you put out an album and people didn't respond it. I mean, she even went ahead to give an example of the fact that there was a soya incident. Did you even know about the soya incident that happened? I mean, she compared that the soya incident. All bloggers were talking about it, but this is food though. Soya is good. Ooh, soya is famous. Probably the soya is just famous than you. No, I didn't say that. What man she is saying is you guys should go listen to her album, man. Show some support. Listen to her album. Man, stop spreading the negative energy. Give her album the same attention you gave soya. That's all we have for you in this edition of the show. I you know how it is. We're always here to dissect all the little greatest that happen in our entertainment industry. If you love our show, I love what we're giving you every week. Don't forget to click in that red button below. And of course, follow us on our several social media platforms. You know how it is. I'm always here to give you what's hot and what's not. It's your ever smiling boy, Karawa. In your diary.